up, good people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, your homegirl, Adosha Wright, the author of What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon, my little book over here, Curly Hair Adventures, and my free ebook to licensed professionals, The Beauty and Barber Survival Plan, that you can find that free book on my Patreon site right now at Global Hair Care, which all that stuff is down in the link. So this is another great video that we're going to talk about. Is heat bad for your hair? So if you like this video, y'all know the routine, right? I want you guys to hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with all y'all cousins, you know, y'all hairstylists, y'all friends who be like, he bad for your hair. Like, uh-uh, you gotta watch this video. Uh-uh, homeboy, well, no, you gotta watch this video right here, honey. So make sure they watch this video. And um, um, don't forget to check out my little Patreon page and all that cool stuff. So subscribe and share and all that good stuff, all right? So enough of that already. Okay, I know y'all be moving past this part. All right, so here we go. Um, what is it that they don't tell you at the hair salon about heat being bad for your hair? So this is a real customer with real hair. Have you ever heard that heat was bad for your hair? She said yes. Do you, can you think of anything that you heard why heat was bad for hair? Because our hair isn't strong enough and what else it's very, it's very damaging so those are the things that we do hear about heat being bad for hair so i'm gonna make this a real quick simple video because y'all know me now if you're new to my channel you're gonna be like what is this girl talking about? First of all, girls can't do anything. I know boys can do too and everybody else, but I'm just trying to, you know, you all know how I am, but if you're new to the channel, you'll figure out. This girl's kind of flighty, okay? But I have blonde hair, what's your excuse, all right? So no, here's what they don't tell you at the hair salon about, is heat bad for hair? First of all, no! Heat is not bad for hair, and I'm not just saying that because I'm a hairstylist. I know what y'all saying. Of course you're gonna say that. You work with heat all day, and you gotta get paid, and your hair is flat iron, and, 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 and that's not true, okay? So let me break it down why heat, did I bring my thing over here? I think I left it, okay. So let me break down why heat is not bad for your hair. Number one, your hair is an excellent conductor of heat. You know what else is an excellent conductor of heat? Food! <laughs> you know what else is an excellent conductor of heat? Clothes, that's right. So now, if you burn up the chicken, is that the heat's fault? Or is it the chef's fault? Come on, people, hit the heart, the like button, help a sister out. If you burn this t-shirt, if you burn this jacket I bought from Dots, y'all remember Dots, I'm still wearing my clothes from Dots, okay? That's right, if you burn this little cheap cotton jacket with that arm, is the arm the culprit or is it the person who used the arm? Come on, y'all, help a sister out. Y'all know that ain't got nothing to do. The heat, it's not the heat's fault. It's the user's fault. So let's talk about what are some of the mistakes that people make when using heat. Don't make heat the bad guy. Don't make heat the full guy, cause heat ain't got nothing to do with it. Heat like, y'all using me, I ain't using y'all. How y'all gonna put all the trouble on me, all the blame on me, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just in the universe, just, you know, with my little protons and neutrons and all this other good stuff, and I'm just, you know, floating. And y'all gonna use me up with a kite, y'all remember that one, little Benjamin Franklin, okay? With the kite, and then y'all gonna get with Thomas Edison and all the other people, you know, and then y'all gonna create this thing called electricity, and then when something catch on fire, it's the electricity's fault. It's the heat's fault. It is not the heat's fault. It is the user's fault. You have to be responsible when using heat. That's what they don't tell you at the hair salon. So now, what, what's making heat so bad? How does heat get the bad rap? Heat gets the bad rap, number one, because most of the time, the hair isn't clean. That's the number one culprit because people keep flat out like dirty hair like they are in dirty clothes. So I ain't gonna say I are some dirty Jordache blue jeans back in the 80s. Remember when Shake Your Pants was out? Shake your pants. Woo! Shake, 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 shake. 
Ah, ooh. Okay. All right. That's Kevin. Y'all know. Y'all watch my video. I always got to do the old school song up in here. Okay. So back in the day, my mama had bought me some Jordash jeans. Okay. With the horse on the back. You got. Y'all don't know about the Jordash jeans. And so I didn't want to wash them. You know, because I didn't want the blue to fade. And so, um, you know, I was just trying. That's what we used to wear creases back in the day. So I went to try to iron them, and oh my God, guess what happened? Oh, that arm print was like right at the bottom of my pants leg. So I went to my mother like, Mama, the arm damaged my jeans. My mother was like, no, you fooly. That's not what she said, some other stuff. Y'all know how mama used to talk back then. Okay, so she said some nice little, you know, African-American mama words. Okay, and so she said, no, that's what you get for ironing dirty clothes. I told you, you need to wash those blue jeans, but you're trying to be trifling. Now, you know, trifling, I don't know, do mama still use that word trifling? But, you know, so that's a perfect example of what happens when you use heat improperly on the, the, the fabric incorrectly. So the, the heat was not the problem. I was the problem. Number one, the jeans were not clean. Um, number two, the R had no business on there. So if your hair is dirty, and dirty as hair past like three days, you ain't got no business putting heat on anything. That's your fault, okay? All right, all right. So now what should we do, okay? So make sure, like, if you flat on it properly, number one, to be honest, you're not even going to need heat after three days. This is why you should visit a licensed professional, preferably who specializes in trichology or healthy hair or something like that, okay? So, um, so that's number one, okay? Number two, another mistake that people make, the hair is dirty, okay? Um, they kind of think that... Um, all the tools are created equal, okay? You have a plethora of flat irons, all right? Now, we're gonna keep it 100, all right? The truth of the matter is, there's only one patent for flat irons. And every other company is building off of the original patent, okay? And so these plates are made from different materials. Some companies, they use aluminum, uh, some companies they use like ceramic and they'll spray like tourmaline some companies use like diamond dust and jade and all types of minerals okay and so they they will coat the plate um, maybe spray it or put it in the molding solution they, they have actually there are videos on YouTube that you can watch of how they manufacture flat arms. I'm not, I'm not very for real, I'm just for real, tell, 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 tell. okay. So, um, but I actually was a, um, a consultant for Remington, so this is why I know so much. Booyah, time to give it to ya, okay? All right, so um, no, real talk. So they will coat the plate with some other type of mineral. So you have all these different minerals that the plate can be made out of. Aluminum is a mineral, okay? Iron is a mineral, okay? Ceramic, okay? So you get where I'm going with this? So these, and then they'll add other minerals. Now, that doesn't mean that they're all the same. They're not. You have to read what the company is telling you why they put that mineral on top of the plate to make it better for your hair. There's too many for me to even go there. So please read the box, that's one. Um, number two, don't y'all be going to them little kiosk. All right, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. I caught you, didn't I? Uh -huh. Do not buy those arms out the kiosk because those are like really a very generic, more than likely an aluminum plate that's gonna be coated or sprayed with ceramic or another mineral. The reason being is that aluminum plates are very, very hot. And then they, they the, 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 the element that's on the inside of the tool, sometimes it's not one element, they might take two to three pieces and you have these little cool pockets inside the actual plate and they're not good. So, um, don't go to the kiosk because nine times out of 10, those are gonna be your generic flat irons where they're gonna say, this flat iron is worth like $250, but today at the high end mall, it's gonna be $75. Trust me, ain't no such thing as no $300 flat iron on sale for $75. Don't, don't, don't believe the hype. <laughs> Don't believe the hype, says Flavor Flav, all right? That stuff ain't real. If it costs $75, more than likely it's really worth 
25, okay? Now, price isn't an indicator of how good or bad something is, but price is an indicator of how good or bad something is. I, as a licensed professional, I tell all of my customers, Personally and professionally, I would never spend over $140 for a pair of flat irons. Professionally, over the counter, personally, me. If I was going to go to like Walmart, CBS, you know, um, Target or any, Target, I'm sorry, um, any of those places, I would never spend over 50 bucks. That's just me. I would just give Remington flat irons the best over the counter, hands down. I'm not saying that because I represented the brand. I'm saying that because I have some at home and I use them because sometimes. Sometimes I, I, I don't take these home and I don't buy two and three pairs, one for home, one for the salon. I'm one of those hairstylists. I use what I use at the salon at home, but sometimes I forget it, okay? All right, so at home I have Remington flat arms. So, uh, but that's just me. You go with what you throw or what, what it makes for you, all right? So next up. Another mistake that people make when flat ironing their hair uh, using heat is the tools that they use. What they don't tell you at the hair salon to be honest, this is heat, okay? I like, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is like electric heat, okay? Um, and so that's man-made heat. This is natural heat. You see that? That's called friction. So friction just, just doesn't happen when you're making whoopee. <laughs> I thought I had to throw that in there, okay? Okay, friction doesn't happen when you get in an argument. Friction doesn't happen when you're just, your thighs are rubbing together and your pants get that little thin, big fat thigh, uh, thighs problem. If you don't have thick thighs, you don't know what I'm talking about. But when you just rock a lot and you have these thick thighs, the inside of your pants get really thin, um, and so that's because of friction. But you know what? If you're using the wrong comb the wrong way, that's friction, and you're gonna rip your hair out. So you have to make sure that you're using your tools properly and you have to use the right tools and I know what you guys are saying I don't know why I make a difference of what kind of comb I'm not understanding I mean I have five daughters I don't have time for five different combs I don't understand I mean I just saw a big pack of them on sale on Amazon for $5.99 I don't understand so let me just break this down to you a comb is to your hair what a toothbrush is to your teeth what a broom is to the floor We'll say it again. A comb is to your hair what a broom is to the floor, what a toothbrush is to your teeth. Have you ever brushed your teeth with a bad toothbrush? Have you ever tried to sweep the floor and the broom was just like, don't you use that outside broom in my house? You know what I know why? Because the bristles are bad. The same thing for the combs. You have to use quality, quality combs. That's not the place to save money. If you want to save money on, on your hairstyling, you buy a more affordable flat iron, not a cheaper comb. Don't do it, Gina, okay? Hit the thumbs up. That was some good advice. Like, you know what, Dosh? I didn't even think about that, okay? All right, so now, another mistake that people make, I have my stuff here. I feel like a chef on all those chef channels. I feel like, I'm like flinging my hair so you guys can just kind of see how this straight hair works out, okay? All right, so um, real talk. Um, you got to prep the hair with some type of a thermal protectant. Just like you do when you, you know, you, you go outside in the sun, you have to put one on your skin. A sunscreen. The heat ain't bad unless you're out in it. The sun been around long before we brought our asses onto this planet. So don't be talking about the solar stuff, okay? You have to respect the universe and all of, all of its glory, okay? So you have to put something on your skin before you go out because the sun will cook you regardless the color of your skin. And it will do the same thing to your hair and so with the flat eyes. But you can use thermal protectors. There are a plethora of them. Too many, but I don't know what y'all gonna say. Well, which one do you use? Before I give you which ones I use, Please, y'all listen to your hair stylist. Stop watching my video and go watch her video. Go talk to her. And, it, well, she don't talk about that. Well, then let her see the video. Let him see the video and ask, do they agree? And what are they using? If your stylist will not share with you what they're using on your hair, what would you do? 
if I didn't share with you what I was using on your hair? Honestly, be honest. She like, I don't know. She wanna hurt my feelings. I thought she was gonna say that. <laughs> say it loud. I will go somewhere else. I will go somewhere else. This is a real customer. Let me do all this talking over her head, guys. She would go someplace else. So if your stylist is not going to share with you what they're using on your hair, go someplace else. It ain't that damn serious, people. It's not, okay? So here's what I'm using, then we're gonna sign up. I like why not, okay? Call Mr. Sharp at 440-341-0718, or you can email him at Leroy Octavia at AOL.com. Why not? It's the best thermal protectant for blow drying hair. I love it, okay? <laughs> Rev Air, don't care. Booyah, trying to give it to you. I'm loving Rev Air. I am their resident expert. And I'm telling you guys, this company, they love, they really love their customers. It's, uh, it's no slip. It's not greasy. It's just, uh, you guys got to try it. They have all these buy one, get one free specials. Get y'all some, okay? Stop buying uh, $200 flat irons and go get y'all some $40 thermal protectant. Uh, this is formulated for your ends. So if to all of those people out there who are like, I, I was getting my hair flat on and my hairstylist damaged the ends of my hair. Come on, people. Okay, you gotta use some type of a treatment. Now, licensed professionals, if you're guilty of it, don't, don't be upset, okay? Um, this one is formulated just for the ends of your hair and it's by Bonacure. And so um, those are my favorites. And if you're like, well, what if we live in Mogadishu and we don't have all of that? And I'm, you know, you're watching me from some remote area and you don't have all this cool stuff. Don't worry, <laughs> just go to the grocery store, okay? And you're gonna get some good old fashioned grapeseed or olive oil. Both can withstand up to about 430, 450 degrees of heat, which is what your average flat iron is all about, okay? So make sure you can do that. If you don't have all the money, you don't have access, it's not that serious, people. Just go to the store and do some of this, and you know, you can ask some essential oils if you want to, but you ain't gotta do all that because naturally, it can withstand up to 450 degrees of heat. And I know what you're saying. Well, um, but that's in the skillet. You know, I get these people who, they, they text me this kind of stuff. For your information, LaDosha, um, that is for cooking when you're on the stove and then using your little, you know, what's those, your air fryers and all of your new wave ovens and all of these devices. Well, let me just give you guys this little secret. The oil don't know the difference. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't know the difference between heat from a flat iron or a skillet. How's that for you, smarty pants? All right, thank you guys for subscribing to my channel. I hope you like it. Hit that thumbs up button if you like it, if you didn't. Just go ahead and say, I ain't like that. Can you talk about something else or I disagree or whatever? Come on, let's have a healthy dialogue about what they don't tell you at the hair salon. Peace, love, and hair. And if you ain't got no hair, use some of these thermal protectors. If not, <laughs> rub your beautiful bar head. And I'm going to do a little video about this blow drying in a minute.